Okay, so first thing we want to do with this uh, Saturn Ion is we want to remove this front bezel. Now this is a older dash, so we definitely want to be careful. I don't want to come in right here on this side. Well, that's actually kind of hard, so I might be able to get behind there. Uh, let's try this. Well, hold on. Let's let's try. Come in on that side. Uh, that works. And let's come in. Uh oh. Now that we have some leverage. Alright. Seems like that just kind of goes like that. So we don't have to fully remove it. Well, we don't actually have to take these harnesses off because they're not going to be in the way. But next thing you want to do is you have one. Is that it? Yeah, so you just got one on the left side, one on the right side. It's gonna be a seven millimeter socket. And once we take those out, we will have that radio. And now that we have their radio out, I don't know why the time's still always oh, fading away. <laughs> so now that we got this factory radio out, let's go ahead and get over here to the test bench. That way we can get that CD player prepped in the dash and get everything wired up. All right, guys, so we're over here on the test bench, and I will have all these product links in the description for you guys. This dash kit is actually pretty simple. You're going to have a trim piece. You will have two um, side pieces, and if you will notice, this piece sits up a tad bit higher than this one. So, and not only does it sit up a little bit higher, this one is a different size as well, so they literally only go on one way. We're just going to put that on like this, and we're going to put the other one on like that. And that's what the front of the dash kit is going to look once it's assembled now you do have a pocket because the dash kit that you get for this car will give you the double den option and the single den if you have a double den radio you just simply slide your radio in here and then put in screws on both sides to secure we actually have a single den radio so one thing that we're going to do is we're going to put we're going to install the pocket now notice when I have this pocket on the inside, there are going to be two little notches that fit perfectly inside the side piece. And then there's going to be two holes over here. Now the dash kit does come with four screws. So we're going to take two of those screws, put it on each side, and then we're going to mount our radio. All right, and now that we have those in, we have just literally secured the side panels onto the front with the pocket. Now, usually in a dash kit, you will use the sleeve to mount this, but since we're able to actually put screws inside of this part, we're gonna take the sleeve off, and depending on what it looks like, we might just go ahead and take this trim off, and then we wanna slide that single-den radio, uh, slide that to the front. And then we're going to have something that looks like that. So now we have our pocket at the bottom that is secured with two screws. And then what you're going to need is two deck screws that actually come with the CD player that you bought and put two on the right, two on the left. So this thing is going to be 100% secure. All right, two at the top, two at the bottom on each side. We got that thing looking good. Now let's get this CD player wired up and get it back inside the car. All right, guys, so we're back inside the car. We already have the CD player wired up. This is your first time here. You're probably wondering why didn't I actually go over the wiring? Well, here at this channel, we don't go over wiring anymore because it's almost the exact same every single time as long as you buy the wire harness. Now, the wire harness's job is to transform these factory wire colors and convert them to the aftermarket wire colors. For the ones that don't know what these wire colors mean, I didn't forget about you guys. I actually made one video showing what each individual wire means what they go to and all that type of stuff that link will be in the description that car should be popping up in the corner that way i can keep these videos short sweet straight to the point and if you need secondary resources i can give you that information to you now for the people who have cut their wire harness or maybe you bought this car used and the wire harness was already cut i have videos in the how-to playlist showing you how to test for those wires and how to hardwire a cd player and I want to take this time to give a shout out to all my Patreons. Those guys go the extra mile supporting me in the channel, so I want to make sure I go the extra mile supporting them by giving them any type of behind the scenes footage. And that's the platform that I'm using to give all my one on one coaches and teachings and help like that. So let's go ahead and get this pushed back into the dash so you can see what it looks like. 
all right guys so that's what it looks like when it's all said and done if you guys found any value in the video please hit that like button don't forget to subscribe share comment if you want to product links will be in the description and that patreon link will also be in the description if you want to be a furthermore supporter or if you just want to send a thanks until next time this is your boy jp signing out hoping everybody has a blessed day peace